In the late 19th century, Alexander Miles was a prominent black inventor, most known for creating elevator doors that could open and close on their own. His creation significantly increased the safety of using an elevator. The automatic doors are still a common feature on elevators today. According to his plan, the elevator doors would automatically open and close as it approached or left a particular floor. Previously, the elevator operator or passengers had to manually open and close the doors of the shaft and the elevator. This considerably increased the dangers associated with operating an elevator. This is the story of Alexander Miles, a prominent black inventor. So sit back, relax, let's get into it. Michael Miles and Mary Pompey gave birth to Alexander Miles in Ohio in 1838. He relocated to Waukesha, Wisconsin sometime in his early adulthood, where he operated a barbershop throughout the 1860s. Alexander started pursuing his love for invention before relocating to Winona, Minnesota by initially developing hair care products while working as a barber. Alexander opened a barbershop in the four-story St. Louis Hotel after moving to Duluth, Minnesota with his family. He eventually met a white woman who was a widow with two children named Candace Dunlap. By 1875, they were married in Duluth, Minnesota, and in 1876, Grace, their daughter, was born. Alexander joined the Duluth Chamber of Commerce as the first African American. Alexander Miles used his barbering profits to buy a real estate agency. He built a three-story brownstone structure in Duluth in 1884, dubbing the neighborhood Miles Block. Many elevators still required manual opening and closing of the doors and shaft in 1874. After observing a shaft door left open while riding an elevator with his young daughter, Alexander started to worry about the potentially dangerous risk involved with elevators. There have been numerous documented instances of people falling down the shafts as a result of people forgetting to close the shaft doors before using the elevator. Because the elevator doors at the time had to be manually controlled, there were numerous documented cases of individuals unexpectedly falling to their deaths via the shaft. Miles was determined to find a solution to this issue. Drums were positioned along the elevator shaft directly above and below the floors and he fastened a flexible belt to the elevator cage so that it touched them. His design made it possible for elevator shaft doors to open and close at the proper times. Levers and rollers were used to automate the elevator doors. On October 11, 1887, Alexander Miles received a patent for his creation. Since the automatic opening and closing of elevator and elevator shaft doors is a standard feature, the impact of his elevator patent may still be seen in contemporary designs. He relocated to Chicago in 1899 after selling his Duluth real estate holdings. In order to protect black individuals who were frequently turned down for coverage at the time, he formed the United Brotherhood, a life insurance firm. He would soon move again. His assets suffered due to a recession. So he and his family relocated to Seattle, Washington. He was formerly thought to be the richest black person in the Pacific Northwest, but that perception did not last. He was once again a barber in his later years of life. Miles was placed in the National Inventors Hall of Fame in 2007, and he passed away in 1918. Not only was Alexander Miles a skilled barber and clever inventor, but he was also a supporter of civil rights and something of a local leader in the African-American community. He was a pioneer. That's it for Aggressive Intelligence. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you next time.